welcome to a very special behind the scenes video from us here at Lamp Power TV. Today we are here in Darlington, in the northeast of England, at the Cummings plant. It's somewhere I've been dying to get into ever since we started Lamp Power TV and we are finally here. So it should be good today, we've got lots coming up for you, we'll probably split it into two or three videos. We're gonna, firstly we're gonna get a tour of the plant, learn how Cummings actually builds its engines here at Darlington and then we're gonna go into the inner sanctum of the company and look at its, uh, its R&D facility. But before all that, to uh, kick off, we've got uh, Mr. Craig Thomas, who is the plant manager here at uh, Darlington. And Craig is basically just going to give us a quick overview of the plant, what it's all about, what you do here. So, I mean, for start off, how long has it been here? Well, we've been here since 1965, so uh, 57 years now we've been in the Darlington area. So we're looking really forward to our 60th anniversary coming up in in three years time and um, just give us an idea of the scale of the of the plant of the site that you have here at Darlington. i mean what sort of size is it how many people work here so pre-covid when, when everyone was working from site uh, we we had around 1400 to 1500 people working on a campus um, so that's not all just manufacturing people that's people that are servicing um, financials or, or marketing or customer services as well as manufacturing um, on the site, in terms of manufacturing, we've got about 450 people working in the engine facility across three shifts. And we also produce after treatment units here, um, where we've got around about 40, 50 people on a two shift process working. Right. Well, I was going to say, because obviously you're famous for your engines, but as well as the engines, what else do you do on this site? I mean, you mentioned the after treatment there. Yeah, absolutely. So, so the campus, what, what is our kind of uniqueness or selling point around the campus is that We've got the ability to design um, and test uh, and manufacture the engine as well as the after treatment unit. So we have a development test center on site, as you, as you alluded to. Yeah, looking gonna, forward to that you're bit. See, you're gonna <laughs> see that today, so that's fantastic. As well as obviously the manufacturing to build diesel engines. So we build 3.8 liter engines up to nine liter engines. And then we produce the on and off highway after treatment units to go with them. So in that we're servicing market, you know, the markets that we're doing is, is marine. We're doing uh, bus constru uh, construction, agriculture, yeah. um, and, and those products are going from here across Europe and all over the world. So that must be just one heck of a challenge for the likes of you and your team because pretty much every engine that we're probably going to see today on the production line, it'll have a different spec to it. There's probably very few engines that'll have the same spec on them, is there? Yeah, and again, that's, that's the challenge that, that, that the team, you know, prior to myself and um, we continue to do that. We're very proud that we have around about 2,500 live um, shop orders or spe specifications um, that we produce. And, and the way our, our customers ask for products, we don't batch build. So we might build one a unique engine after another. Um, so that gives us some complexities and challenges yeah. within our operation um, to get our balance in, uh, in, our, in our operations. But that's our uniqueness on this site. And how many engines would you build sort of roughly per year? Um, so obviously with, with the markets it can fluctuate up and down. Um, our, our record performance on this site um, was around about 80,000 units in a year. Uh, we've seen highs and, and lows uh, across different yeah. years. Um, but we're, we're up to um, looking at around 72,000 engines will be produced here this year. Wow. Which is the biggest um, volume we've built since 2018. And then just thinking a little bit bigger picture, I mean obviously Darlington is one facility that you guys have in the UK. Just for those that don't know, what other facilities do you have in the UK in terms of you know, the plants and the sites? Okay, so we have three major sites in, in the UK. Um, so we have the, the engine, mid, um, engine plant here, a mid-range engine plant. Uh, we also have a, a facility in Daventry, which is making larger engines mm. and, and, um, and generators. Right. And then we have a, um, a turbo plant in Huddersfield that's making the turbos that go on the engines that you see today. So Craig, obviously you've been operating here at Darlington for quite a while now, since 65. Uh, what would you say are some of the major milestones that you've managed to achieve here? Yeah, so, so I think a lot of the major milestones is, is keeping up with the technology and the emissions changes over, uh, over the, the recent you know, 57 years. Yeah. It's got a lot more aggressive uh, in recent times as, as emissions have changed. Um, the other thing we're very proud of is when we brought the after treatment facility on our site in the early 2000s and, and the continuing development of our, our pilot centre. Developing area, um, 
And something that we're really looking forward to, that, uh, or what we achieved this year, was our 1.5 millionth engine being built. Um, that we worked in partnership with our Hyundai customer. Yeah. Um, so we've tracked that from the point of fit through to our customer, uh, through to the application that's been installed to. Yeah. And so we've been very proud of, of that milestone. I was going to say, that's just one or two engines, that. Yeah. <laughs> and you just uh, sort of briefly touched upon it then. I mean, just talk us through some of your, you know, some of your key customers and where do these engines go in the world? So as I say, we, we're servicing, uh, you know, predominantly we, we're serving a lot of things that are, are exporting. So 74% of our engines we're shipping are exporting out of Darlington um, and, and going across Europe, North America, China, um, etc. Um, key customers, we work um, very heavily with, with Leyland, uh, we work with Komatsu, uh, we work with Class, um, and we work with Hyundai, as I mentioned, with, yeah. with the 1.5 million of engines. So they're four of our key customers that we service every day. I've got to say, you know, walking through the doors today, it's been a while since I've been to the to the Darlington plant. As soon as I walk through the doors today, it's like it's all it's all brightened up. It's like it looks like you've gone and you know it's had a quite a makeover recently. Yeah, so I, so I think pre-COVID, um, there was a lot of investment in our facilities. So our our offices and our, our, our uh, welfare facilities needed um, upgrading, shall we say. So we spent around about a 20 million investment in, in our offices and our test cell capabilities, which allowed us to, to produce uh, more engines, but also allow the working environment to, to be improved. Um, and now we've, we've switched to the factory. So we're, we're spending a lot more money now on uh, repainting the floors, repainting the ceilings, um, creating this, this fantastic training facility. I was going to say, the training that facility today. that we're in here. It's, um, uh... and, and what we're trying to adapt by that is, is that we're not just teaching people how to make engines and after treatment units, but, but as you'll see as you go around, we're using uh, collaborative robots now, technology, um, we're using MIR, uh, automated vehicles to move products around our, our facility. So it re requires new skills, new education, yeah. and, and so we need a, a facility that services that. You mentioned investment there quite a little bit. What, I mean, what else have you done or what's coming up? So, so something that's been released in, in, in the press, so hopefully people have seen this, is our investment in our development center. So that's going to give us the capability of building new Euro 7 engines, platforms, as well as hydrogen capability. So there's a $14.6 million investment in, in that facility. Wow. Um, and we're at different stages. So over the next two to three years, we will start that to see that facility um, really play its part yeah. in developing the new engines. And then in readiness for our Euro 7 um, and hydrogen capability, we're spending around about $26 million on the, the manufacturing um, facility here to allow us to build these new engines. So a lot of investment yeah. coming up in the next year and a lot of projects to, to help get us there and get us ready. So we come back here in five years and it'll all just be transformed again or it will totally, evolved even further? It will totally have evolved. If you look at kind of where you go around the facility today and you see where our materials is laid out, all of that needs to go to make way for our new production line. That, that it needs to be in place by 2024. Um, so a lot of work and activity is going to be going on in, in the next coming months to get us ready for that investment. Perfect. Craig, thank you very much for your time. That's a fascinating insight to, to the plant here at Darlington. And I do look forward to uh, finding out more about what you guys get up to. So okay. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you.